Okay, let's start with the first layer. Um, we're going to mix a base layer and I've chosen the red for the, uh, as a base layer because in the upper layer I've chosen the yellow and the purple and a green and as you can see on my color wheel yellow is the complementary color of um, violet and um, green of red so because of these colors are already in there I've chosen the red as a um, base layer. I often start just by scribbling a bit, just to give some interest to the painting. Another. It doesn't really matter, it just gets you into the painting. Just use what you have at hand. Um, this is some acrylic, fluid acrylic, but you can just use pastels or oil pastels or soft pastels or you can't use acrylics on top of the oil uh, wax uh, the cold wax but you can do it on the in, on this first layer you just have to let it dry a bit Okay, now this is dry. We will add the first basic layer, even though it's not dry dry. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm not pressing very hard. So you will just have some texture on the surface. You can al already create some textures with um, your comb or other tools. Or just scribble with your palette knife. Be sure that there's a bit of texture everywhere. It does, doesn't seem important this base layer, but it is because it will give you the texture to work with.
I'm already pressing some stamps. And now we have to let it dry. It has to be dry to the touch to work on it, so there will probably be tomorrow morning. So I let this dry overnight. It's dry to the touch. It's not thoroughly dry because that will take um, a bit longer. It um, is difficult to say how long it takes to dry. It's my most asked question, but it depends on a lot of things. For example, um, the thickness of your layers, the humidity of your um, studio, the uh, paint, even the paint. Some paints dry quicker than others. And, um, and the support you're working on. Um, I feel the paper dries quicker than if you work on a cradle panel. Uh, I've chosen three colors for this uh, painting and I recommend to work with a limited palette but you can choose any colors you want of course. By mixing the colors with uh, titanium buff with white and with um, black or gray which I made from uh, the white and the black you will see that you will get a beautiful palette with uh, just a limited choice of colors. As always, I mix my paint with the gold wax, 50%, 50%. Then I will mix it with the titanium buff. This gives a really beautiful muted violet. Then I will mix it with the white. the grey and to have a really dark purple you can always add a little bit of black You can see that you have a beautiful range of colors and I will do the same with these two. Okay so I mixed my uh, yellow and my green. I used another palette because it takes quite a, up, uh, quite a lot of space. Um, there's cold wax medium in, in every mix so now it's time to start playing. I often start with um, the darks and then build it up um, with the lights but just play with color and if you don't like it you can scrape it off or you can let it dry and start over again. 